Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna bring you wardrobe essentials that you really need in your closet. So these are just things that I really, really grab for when I'm trying to create an outfit um, or things that I really, really wear often in my specific closet. So there may be things that you need or like, you know, I think it's essential for me, so you may also need, think it's essential for you. So if you wanna see what I think is essential, then just keep watching. The first thing that is really essential in my closet is a white tank top and a lot of people like wear these and these are kind of like trendy but I think this is really good to pair with so many different outfits like this is very simple for like this is the base for a lot of the simple outfits that you need so invest in a good one I got this one for Brandy Melville but you can also get them from Walmart and like just cut them as a crop top and I prefer the crop length of it and I really, really like this one it lasts me a really long time and you like need to re-up on them maybe like every year or so um because the whites get dingy but yeah I really invest in like this or a variation of this I also have black ones and I have gray ones and I think there's a really staple piece for your closet and it makes a nice silhouette I like the way that mine fits it comes like right above the belly button and that's really cool for me so um you guys can see what you like with yours but like how it fits or you know the different things i've seen people do a lot of different things with this so like they can like put safety pins in it or like just a lot of different things with your white tank but this is very essential next up are baby tees and i really 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 love baby tees i got this from a thrift actually and it's kind of like weird that i got this from a thrift and it's like no name of any brand at all and it's just a, a gray tank but it's like literally the best ever um baby tees basically fit like kind of like if you stole your baby sister's shirt or your baby brother's shirt and like you just put it on they kind of fit like that so like they have the sleeves come shorter than like a normal normal short sleeve they're shorter than that and they're just like i don't know cropped <laughs> and like a baby <laughs> and i love the way this one fits as well like this is my favorite type of baby tee that i have um just because I don't know, it's like really simple, it's gray, and I wear it literally with everything when I'm running errands, but I'm also creating outfits as well. Um, simple, basic stuff like this is very essential in your wardrobe because they can never go wrong. They're staple pieces that you're going to always need and like in rotation, and it's never going to go out of style. So I think that you should make sure like you invest into these pieces. I usually get them like, I kind of come across them sometimes, like I got this from the thrift, um, but this is a really good quality and it's been last me a really long time. So yeah, and I just trimmed it at the bottom and I trimmed it to my liking. So you can get this from anywhere. You can get this from Walmart, you probably can get this at um, PLT, Fashion Nova, any of those places as well, like if you wish. But you also go like to higher end places. I know Joanna Brown sells a lot of like very staple pieces for wardrobe. So you guys can check her out as well. Okay, next up on the list is basically a pair of leather pants. And just because it's fall time right now, I think that um, these pieces are like for leather specifically is really good for fall. Um, I got this from the thrift as well, so it's kind of hard. Sorry you guys, like I do a lot of thrifting and like secondhand stuff. I don't really like to do as much fast fashion, but I understand that that's kind of how people can see where you get your clothes from. So I'm gonna do more for you guys, but I don't really prefer <laughs> to do it. But um, I got this from like Crossroads. And even though I don't prefer the fit of this as well, like it's kind of low rise and I prefer mine to be high rise. So I'm still in a hunt to look for the best pair of leather pants. These are still really nice. Like the paneling on them are really cool and they're straight leg, um, which is really nice. So yeah, I think a good pair of leather pants or a variation of like leather or pleather or anything like that is really good for your wardrobe. Um, you can dress this up up and down and you can just do it in a very different like a lot of different styles i'm more of a streetwear girl so i kind of dress this down to fit my streetwear style um so yeah so basically a good pair of like leather pants is going to be there for a long time and really good quality these are really nice quality and i'm not sure what the brand is but this is what the brand is right here brand name so i'm not sure where these are actually like from initially i guess that's where it is i'll see if i can find them um, I don't usually believe in like wearing leather or like 100% like leather and stuff. I didn't know when I bought these and I didn't check so <laughs> I'm kind of stuck with them unless I sell these on Depop which I probably is looking like I am good because of the fit. But when you are looking at these essentials you want to make sure these clothes fit you very well because these are your staple pieces in your closet that you're going to be wearing all the time and you want to feel confident in them. Next I have a pair of cargo pants and these are like literally the 
um, Boy Scout pants. I got this from the thrift as well, but you can also get this from like Amazon. Um, basically, a good pair of cargo pants, I believe, are really nice. Like these are just the normal style of olive green, and they come the like a very boyish fit. Um, I love the way these fit on me and like the way that they fall as well. Um, I would also prefer like it was a little bit high waisted, but I also like the low waisted look as well. So I love these style pants, and I got these at the thrift. So. I tried them on and I fell in love. This is a youth 18. So, you know, don't be scared to look into different uh, categories and sizes like boys, you know, to fit your stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I love these pairs of pants and this is like, like a staple for streetwear girls. A good pair of cargo pants in like literally every color, to be honest, but olive green is definitely one. Um, and it's never, you can never go wrong with olive green any season, but you know, especially for fall. Next is a good pair of denim, and mine is a basically really, really baggy pair of Lee jeans. And this came from the men's section, and I like fell in love with them when I tried them on. I just love, 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 love the way that these fall. I'm never getting rid of these. Like, I want to have these forever, <laughs> as long as I can fit them, and hopefully, I don't know, I just love them so much. Um, and I love like the older style jeans because I just love the way like they are. Like they're just so big. Like as you can see, like obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit this, but it's so oversized and baggy. And I love the way they fall on my waist and they fall at the bottoms and they just go over top of my shoe. Like that's that perfect, I don't know, that perfect just pants just fit. <laughs> I love it so much. So yeah, so make sure you have a good pair of like jeans. These are my go-to, like kind of darker wash uh jean. I got some medium wash because these are not really dark wash. Um, for my, whenever I need to know I need to pick an outfit really quickly, I throw on this and a pair of baby tee and I'm out the door literally. So this is my favorite variation for style. So fit is really what makes your clothes like essential and like really your basic or your staple piece. And because I love to fit so much, I always gravitate towards them. But you can also get any variation of these. I also have a lot of different variations of um, this color jeans and like in different things with cutouts. like distressed jeans and things like that so you know you can have a different variation of whatever you think is essential for you. Okay, so I also have a pair in um, light wash and these are not Lali. I'm not sure what the brand is. Um, I'm not really sure what the brand is at all but I got these from the thrift store as well and these fit amazing like these probably fit even like better than the other ones and I love them so much that like I ripped them right here but it's okay it's a little bit of, a little bit of wear does not hurt anybody. I actually kind of like them more because it gives it a little bit of character. But you guys probably look like this, like this looks like nothing. But when I put them on, I just feel like it just adds so much character, you know? And I love the way that they fall on me as well. Um, I'm 5'8", so it's kind of hard to get jeans that are gonna fall perfectly. But these are really, really nice. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the fit really, I'm trying to tell you the fit is like where it's at. But make sure you have a good pair of like darker wash, um, like black, me medium wash, and light wash jeans. So these are mine, so like the light wash and the medium wash. I also have also have a black pair. So these are all like at different trips when I went to the thrift store. Like they never were like in one go. Um, this black pair is not my favorite fit, but it also like does the job. So next is a basically staple piece that I love so much and I'm so happy that I got it this day. I got it at a thrift store that was like a pound thrift store, so it weighs about a pound. And it was about $30 coming out. It's a Harley Davidson um, corduroy, uh, basically, it, I guess it's like a shirt, but it's extra, extra, extra large. So um, I wear it as a jacket, it's an oversized jacket. And like the bigger the jacket, the better. Like if it swallows me, it's literally perfect because I just love, I don't know why. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. So yeah, like an oversized, uh, either denim or corduroy or something, a bluish color that kind of goes with everything. This goes with so many things. Like I always put this on. Like any outfit, I literally can put this on and it goes. Like I don't know how, but it just kind of works. So I think because it's so similar to a medium wash denim jacket. Um, like yeah. So and I already have a denim jacket as well that is oversized, and that's like an essential as well. I use that a lot to keep myself warm in the fall time and the winter time as well in California. So yeah, basically this is where it's at. <laughs> I love this so much. Like. I've gotten so many wears out of this, and I'm like, I didn't even know it was Harley Davidson, so it makes it better. Like, it has so many details on here. That's super nice. Like, didn't even know. Like, all the buttons say, like, Harley Davidson, so this is really cool. So, definitely a steal from the thrift store. Okay, next up are these pair of uh, sweatpants, and I just showed you guys. It doesn't have to be any, like, crazy color like this. 
This is like black with kind of neon green stripes around it. But um, it doesn't have to be like this. This is kind of what I have. So. so yeah, these are from IMG and these are in the size medium. And I love the way that these fit um, and how long they are. This is why I like included them in my essentials. Um, if I had a choice, I would have like a gray pair, a black pair, and like, I don't know, maybe blue pair in these just so I can, you know, like these can be more essential because this can't go with everything, but I love the fit of this and that's why I included it. And I think a good pair of sweatpants is very essential, especially for streetwear styles. It kind of based off of comfort. So I think that, you know, this is very important to have a good pair of sweatpants. And um, yeah, if IMG came out with the different colorways, then definitely put my hands on them. But until then, I'm still looking for them. And these are really thick pair. Like they're very good material and like high quality. Like they stay up at the top and the drawstring really stays. I don't like when the drawstrings just don't, don't really work. <laughs> So yeah, um, these are really cool and I love these so much. I love them so much. So yeah, this is my good pair of IMG sweatpants. And hopefully I can find some other good pair of sweatpants in the future. But you guys can like definitely get these because these are not from the thrift or anything. So woo. <laughs> finally. Uh, last thing for the clothing things are these, this is like a denim jacket, but it's in the black and I cropped this. And I think a good crop jacket is very essential. Like hands down top tier. So black is a really good colorway because it goes with everything and I, every time I throw in this, like if something is missing from my outfit, I always like look for a jacket or like some type of accessory or something like that. And this always does a trick because it just adds a little pop of something like that she needed and you know, to layer your pieces. And it's just really cool. Like I got this from thrift store a long time ago. It was a 2X and I cut it. It was like a longer jacket, but I just cut it and cropped it. And I cropped it really perfectly and now it looks like it has distressing down here as well and it just it's really perfect so i love it i love the way it fits and like kind of the more sometimes that you have clothes in your closet the more that it kind of fits to you and fits to your style and you know how to work it um but i literally wear this like all the time especially in the fall time when i need something or like if nothing goes on my outfit i just need to throw this on this is perfect <laughs> perfect so a denim jacket denim jackets do the trick all the time so if you ever in the thrift store and you see a denim jacket literally grab it and like if it fits to you then grab it oversized is better as well because i don't know fitted, fitted denim jackets work as well but i love okay moving on so now we're going to go to shoes and i wear my shoes so you guys may like take offense to that but i like to wear my shoes and like don't really care too much about it being super dirty but um like when it starts to get like super super bad then I start to clean them but these are my black cat Jordan um, 4s and yeah basically these are really really cool piece of shoes because you know they go with everything black all black shoe I literally wear them all the time like whenever I need to run out the house run some errands and they're super comfortable so yeah I really suggest these these are a hefty penny but um you can do any variation of black shoe black converse as well they work really well but I prefer Jordan so <laughs> I went with these and the um, literally the silhouette is so pretty to me because like if you have smaller feet I think it looks so pretty because it's just like it's kind of a chunky shoe so it kind of makes your foot look like really small. I don't know how to describe it like it kind of it's kind of weird but <laughs> it's really cute when you wear them um, and when your shoe falls perfectly on them it's just so pretty. I actually prefer the Olivia Kims um, compared to these but I don't know why I got these. I forgot why I got these instead of the Livy Cams because I think the Livy Cams are less expensive as well. I'm not sure. Maybe I mixed it up. But anyway, I might get the Livy Cams in the future, but I have these right now, so I wear these all the time. So yeah, I would suggest you invest in a pair of all black shoes or mostly black shoes to wear with a lot of your outfits. Next are my Converse Run Star Hike um, shoes. And these are literally, like I wear these all the time, as you probably can tell, like you're probably like, wow, these are not that white anymore. <laughs> like I wear my shoes, so. <laughs> yeah, basically these are like my shoes that I literally run errands with as well. Um, if I need to throw in a quick shoe that's white, I run like errands with these. And these are really comfortable actually, like, and like, cause I guess because the platform is so like chunky, but airy kind of. They are really comfortable, I believe. I think I got these from Nordstrom. I don't know if they sell them anymore, but and I also got these in a size eight and a half to women. That's usually my size eight or eight and a half. But I know Converse kind of run narrow sometimes, and my feet are wider, so 
got an eight and a half in these, and these fit perfectly. I like them. Um, yeah, but these are kind of hard to put your hands on as well, so you might want to get them from StockX. Just like the Jordans, StockX or GOAT are your go-to for shoes or Foot Locker when they release, or like, you know, any of those shoe stores when they release. Then, of course, we have the Air Force Ones, and, of course, mine are worn like you guys. Some people have the thing where they wear Air Force Ones one time, and they never wear them again, but I'm not that person, so... <laughs> Um, these were customized by um, Sneak This. I'll leave her at book down below on Instagram. And these are so fly to me. Like, I love the little detailing in them. Um, but you can get the regular Air Force Ones and you don't have to customize them. But I've never had a pair of Air Force Ones and she decided that she wanted to gift these to me. So I was like, wow. So, yeah, literally, these I love these. I wear these all the time. They go with everything because the little detailing, like, it's not too bold. Um, it's just safety pins here and a little dazzling on the swoosh. So yeah, I actually really, really love these. Um, and they go with everything, like a good pair of white and black shoe. Of course, that's really what you need. Like goes with everything. Go with this outfit right now that I'm wearing. It can go with any of these things and any variation. And just an essential. It's what you need. <laughs> okay, last and final um, shoe are these uh, Jordan 1s. I for really forget the name of these because I got these so long ago, like when I was literally a child. Like my mother bought these, like I didn't even purchase these. So, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, I don't know what these are actually called, but um, these are really, really popular. And I see why, because they're so essential. Like I really think, like every sneakerhead should have this shoe in their closet. Um, I'm not a sneakerhead, but I have these <laughs> because I think they're so essential as well. Like, I didn't even like Jordans back in the day, and I loved these when I was little, so that can tell you something about the shoe. And they're so beat up and worn, like, you can tell I need a good clean for these. Um, anyway, but the thing about these shoes is because of the black and the white, you can get away with a lot of different outfits with this. This shoe goes with everything, I swear. Like, I never put this with something and it doesn't really go, so. Vanessa shoe and you can always wear them. Um, I think now you can get them on stock as a goat. It's kind of a pretty penny, but you know, I think they're worth it for the amount of wears that I get out of these. So these are, I think these are called the OG twists. I'm not sure, cause they're not the suede ones. These are the ones that look more like the patent leather type. I mean, not patent leather, just the normal like Jordan leather. <laughs> um, so yeah, basically this is last shoe. And moving on to accessories, I have this uh, purse. I got this from the thrift as well. I got everything from the thrift. This, I'm a thrift girl. Sorry. <laughs> but I got this. It's Guess. Um, and basically, it's just like a vintage type blackish brown. I believe it's black, but it sometimes appears to be brown. So yeah, it's a really staple purse, I believe, for like the saddle bags everyone carries now. But I think this is really cool because um, it carries a lot of stuff in here, and it's like just kind of a classic. Like it's nothing really extravagant, and it's nothing really like you know. I don't know. It's like a really good piece, like a black staple purse to jazz up your outfit or to just bring along with you when you need to carry things. I think it is literally amazing. Like I love this so much, and I wear it all the time. <laughs> you probably can see in my pictures of how much I wear this as well. So yeah, anything that you can find that's like a black staple purse. I know Depop also sells them as well. It's just really cool and nice. <laughs> okay, last thing is this um, denim purse. And this is from my friend's brand named uh, Leah Patcher. Unfortunately, you can't get these anymore, but I'm sure you can probably try to make them or find like a variation on Depop as well. But um, I love this because denim, it just goes with everything as well. And it's super cool to like carry your stuff in. Like this, this size bag is perfect for me because it fits a lot of stuff in. It's like kind of like a tote, but it's a mini tote. So yeah, I don't really like too big of bags to be honest, because it's kind of like too much going on. <laughs> but I like my bags to just fit perfectly right here. And yeah, it's just cool, chilling, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I think I love this because how much it goes with everything. I always pair this with everything. You've probably seen it so, so many times on my Instagram. Um, if you don't, follow me on Instagram at State of Dallas. So yeah. <laughs> But yeah, this is basically my last thing of the wardrobe essentials. Okay guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social media links. They'll be down below. And check out my business as well. It's called Denim the Label. If you guys are interested in luxury lashes and a lot of other things that are coming soon to the site. So yeah, check us out. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.